everyone! Welcome back to my Perfect family, and today we have our first episode of my new podcast series. I originally saw this podcast idea on Gabe Kaysen's YouTube channel, and then when I saw Stormy Rabbits upload hers recently, I was inspired to do my own. I will have both of their podcasts linked in the down bar below, so be sure to check that out so you can listen to some more awesome podcasts. Now, without further ado, let's get started. I was gonna do this podcast. What I was gonna do it on was quite clear in my mind. With Easter right around the corner, the timing couldn't be more perfect. Today, I'm gonna be addressing a point that keeps getting brought up, and it's whether rabbits are high maintenance and expensive pets. I, like most people, fell in love with rabbits for their adorable furry faces. But I was always into animal research, so I started researching all about rabbit care. I started out with Google, and most of the information on there wasn't exactly correct. A lot of it was how to raise rabbits outdoors, and they were telling me things like I needed big hutches and wire floors. People were also saying stuff like rabbits were not very affectionate and that rabbits bit a lot. Not ready to believe any of this, I turned to YouTube and started YouTube googling some rabbit information. The videos that I found amazed me. Not really for their content, but how contrasting they were to the stuff I found on the internet. On YouTube, everyone was making rabbits seem so difficult. Everyone was saying how high maintenance they were and how expensive everything was. Needless to say, after this, I was quite terrified. How could such a little animal be such high maintenance and cost so much money? I started doing further and further research, and everyone was saying the exact same thing. When I finally got my rabbit, I realized quite a few things really fast. Now I'm gonna make some pretty strong claims, and I really don't hope to offend anybody. But in my opinion, the only people that say rabbits are high maintenance pets or rabbits are expensive or difficult pets are people that have never really had actual expensive pets. To someone that's maybe only had hamsters or has never had pets before, rabbits will seem expensive. But compared to any other pet, they're actually quite inexpensive. Rabbits' diet consists of three important parts. Hay, pellets, and veggies. This is just including water, of course. Hay is probably what you'll be going through the fastest, and if you go to a farm, it's really inexpensive and really great quality. Veggies are also super inexpensive, and a big mixed bag will last you about two weeks. Pellets are probably the most important part of your rabbit's diet. But considering how little pellets they actually need, which is one to two tablespoons a day. Those bag of pellets should last you a very long time because rabbits are strictly herbivores, meaning they eat plants. Their diets are quite inexpensive. Plant-based products are always cheaper than animal ones. The proper rabbit food is gonna cost you a lot less than high-quality dog or cat food. This is because high-quality dog or cat food. Has to have a lot of protein and different meats of there, which is much more expensive to manufacture than just veggies. I'm not saying that rabbits are cheap. I'm just saying that compared to other pets, they're really quite inexpensive. A lot of people argue that rabbits are also very difficult to take care of. A lot of people will tell you that rabbits are exotic animals when really they're not. But they do need an exotic vet. A lot of vets won't have studied rabbits, so they won't be very much help. But rabbits don't get sick very often, especially if you take good care of them. Rabbits are really hardy animals, and mine has never yet needed to see a vet. And yours probably won't. Another thing that goes with cost is housing. I've seen people all over YouTube have elaborate wooden cages or large NIC condos. Or really big bunny rooms, and really this isn't necessary. You don't have to dedicate a whole bedroom in your house to your bunnies, or you don't need to spend hours and hundreds of dollars building a custom condo. All you really need to properly house your rabbit is an X pen. I think X pens are the best cages that you're ever gonna find for your rabbit, and they also happen to be one of the cheapest. If you look around, you can find them for under thirty dollars. Besides being an awesome full-time cage, they're also super versatile. And if you want to let your rabbit free roam later on, you can use it to block off areas. You can also use it to take your rabbits outside safely. X pens are also great because they're so easy to clean. When you want to clean it, you can just move the whole X pen out, and you can do a full sweep. X pens are also great for bonding with your rabbits. Cause you can actually go inside without worrying about having to hit your head. 
With an X-Pad, you'll be able to fully stand in their cage. A lot of people talk about how NIC condos are the most efficient and the best cage for rabbits. And when I saw this, I was quite scared. First of all, they look very time consuming and look like they require a lot of skill to put together, none of which I have. They're also quite expensive. People were saying that they're really cheap for only around $100, but that's quite a bit of money considering I got my X pen for around $30. i am not saying don't buy or don't make an NIC condo, cause honestly I think they're great. I just don't think that they're the best cage out there. NIC condos are difficult to clean and they're not all that sturdy. In addition, you have to build them yourself, and the supplies aren't always readily available. You also will need some power tools like drills and nails, and you're gonna go through a lot of zip ties. In addition, they're pretty difficult to clean, and rabbits much prefer floor, floor space over height. Another thing that a lot of people talk about is buying a lot of elaborate cage accessories, when in reality, rabbits are just fine with a cardboard box. Now, I'm not just saying that rabbits need a cardboard box, because they do need more than that. I'm just saying that you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on cage accessories. Another reason why rabbits are so inexpensive is because a lot of their accessories is very readily available. Sure, if you look in the rabbit aisle of your pet store, you'll find a few things, but the best place to look is in cat or dog section. First of all, pet traps have this idea that rabbits are about a pound when most rabbits are around six or seven. So cat and dog accessories usually work a lot better than actual ones marketed towards rabbits. Because cats and dogs are such common pets, their accessories are so widely available and so cheap. You can find them online or even secondhandly used for really great deals. Rabbits are also pretty hardy, so you can give them things like cardboard or paper towel tubes for them to chew on. Another thing that people always talk about rabbits is how difficult they are and how time consuming. Again, I think the only people who say that are people either with a lot of rabbits or people that haven't had any other pet to compare it to. Out of all my pets, my rabbit requires the least time. I clean his litter box about once a week. I try to do it more, but it really doesn't smell, at least to me. Also, if you have a large cage, you don't have to clean it very often. I've gone months without cleaning my rabbit's cage. Just make sure that you spot clean some areas, and other than that, you should be fine. Rabbits are also so easy to litter train. In fact, most of them start litter training on their own, without any help. So once you put in a litter box, you're very rarely going to have any accidents. A lot of people also say that rabbits are high maintenance animals. And I think this kind of goes for all animals. And they're as high maintenance as you make them. Rabbits, especially if they live in pairs, are totally fine with about 10 minutes of attention and if you give them some free roam time while you're in the area. But th th this does mean that you probably won't have a very good bond with them. If you do want to bond with your rabbit and have a strong bond, I still wouldn't call them a high maintenance pet. Rabbits are really loving and very trusting. Certain individuals may not, but the majority of them love people. So you should be able to bond with your rabbit if you consistently spend about 30 minutes to an hour every single day. So to conclude, in my opinion, rabbits are not high maintenance, are not expensive, and are not difficult or exotic pets. Like I said, the people that say that either have a lot and lot of rabbits, or they don't have any experience with any other actually difficult pet. How much rabbits will cost is really up to you and how smart you are with your spending. Now, I'm not saying don't spoil a rabbit, because while you can give them the bare minimum for a very low price, it never hurts to spend a little extra to improve their quality of life. not trying to glorify rabbits as really easy pets and ones that you can get just because you think they're cute. Because rabbits are more than that, they're a living animal with feelings. I really only wanted to do this video for anyone that might have been like me, who's looking into getting a rabbit but was so off put by all the information out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to let me know your opinions and thoughts in the comments below because I'm really curious to know. Did I just get super lucky with a really low maintenance bunny 
Or has everyone really been exaggerating their care? Also, this video isn't directed at anyone or any specific YouTube channel in general, and I'm not trying to insult or hurt anyone's feelings. If you're one of the people advocating that rabbits are difficult animals, maybe you could rethink your thinking, and if you still think that they are difficult animals, then feel free to teach what you believe. Like I said, thank you for watching this video, and I'm really sorry if I offended anyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this new podcast series, and let me know what you'd like to talk about next. See you guys next week, and bye!